get started on your back. And as you lay down and find a nice grounded shape, feel free to have your knees bent up. You can also extend them straight. You can touch the feet together, opening the knees out to the sides. You can knock your knees in towards each other. Just find whatever's the most comfortable where you feel rested and supported. And today we'll start with the left hand onto the heart and the right hand onto the belly and find that connection and grounding of the palms onto the body. You're welcome to allow your eyes to relax closed. And just for the first few moments, take time to settle down into the body, settle into the breath. And start to just slow the breath down, become more mindful of the rhythm of your breath. And with every slow inhale and slow exhale, just let yourself bring more awareness to your current state. And I don't know if you all feel the same way, but I feel like lately there's been so many things that upset me about the way that things are going, the way that the world is. And it's allowed me to get into a negative state more quickly because things are just different than they normally are, or a lot of things are being brought to light. And I realized that that has taken toll on my general mood. And sometimes we need to just take a break from all that and come back to our breath, come back to something that brings us joy. Not that problems or issues are going to disappear or go away, but to regulate ourselves back to a mood of happiness and simplicity. We'll take a few rounds of deep breaths together here. So take a big, full breath in through the nose, expanding through the lungs fully. And then side out through the mouth, let it go. Let go of tension or stress or worry. And a couple more full breaths like that. Big full breath in, expand through the belly, ribs, chest, pausing at the top. Side out through the mouth, let it go. And one more together, full breath in, expanding through the lungs. And through the mouth, let it all go. And keep your lips sealed. Take your breath in through the nose. And also out through the nose, start to cultivate your ujjayi breath, victorious breath. And stay with this breath. If you'd like to invite in an intention for your practice, feel free to set one, any positive thought for yourself or for anyone else who might need it. And go ahead and bend your knees up, gather your knees in towards your chest. And take a gentle rock side to side, just give yourself a little massage across the mid and lower back. Keep your knees and legs together, keep one hand on top of each knee, and then circle your knees around. So find that massage in a different way. And circle in the opposite direction. And then extend your legs up towards the sky. Relax your arms alongside the body. Extend your feet up towards the sky. Flex your feet. Pull, feel the toes pulling back towards your shins. And just take an inhale here. And then keeping your feet flexed as you exhale, bend your knees and squeeze your heels in towards your bottom. So we're just going to bend and straighten at the knees. So inhale, extend the legs straight, pressing up towards the heels with the feet flexed. As you exhale, bend your knees, squeeze the heels into the bottom, just opening up the hamstrings gently. On the inhale, extend the legs straight, flexing through the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. Just a couple more. Inhale, flexing the legs straight, press up through the heels. And then exhale and bend the knees. One more time. Inhale, extend the legs straight. Exhale, bending the knees. Okay, take your hands behind your knees. So to rock forward and up a few times. Gosh, this is going crazy, sorry. And then come and rock all the way up to seated and extend your legs straight in that same shape, flexing through the feet. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward, relax your head and neck down. And take a few steady breaths here, just opening up the backs of the legs. And especially early in our practice, you can have that bend in the knees, let yourself hang forward. Last couple of breaths here. 
Inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky and keep reaching up through the fingers. Bend your knees up and plant your feet down. Try to bring your feet together. Let the knees open up a little bit. And then from here, we're going to see if we can rise to a chair pose. Use your hands if you need to. See if you can ground into your feet. Let your chest fold forward a little bit. Ground into the heels. Squeeze your legs back together and rise up. And then exhale and just fold forward and let it go. And rise up halfway with a flat spine. And then exhale, fold down with the breath. And just come up halfway two more times. Inhaling, heart forward, stretch forward through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. And one more with the breath, heart forward. And exhale, fold back down. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. You can do a couple half salutations. Exhale and fold it forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold it back down. Rise all the way to stand, sweep your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more round, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Fold forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. And all the way up to stand, inhale, sweeping the arms up, touch palms. Exhale, hands to heart space. Okay. This round, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale and fold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. And keep your right foot in front. Take a big step back with your left foot. Come up high to the fingertips, or here's where you might like to use blocks if you just want a little bit more space. Pull your heart forward like you're creating this upper back bend. Let the hips dip a little bit, but keep your back leg pressing straight. And as you exhale, round up through the spine like cat pose, chin to chest, belly drawing in. Do that a couple more times. Hips will dip a little bit, heart forward, gazing forward or slightly up. Exhale and round up through the spine. And one more, opening up through the heart space. And round up through the spine. Again, you can move the blocks away so you can plant your palms down if you're using them. Step it back to plank, nice and controlled. Keep your core hugging in. Shift forward to shift your shoulders beyond the wrists on an inhale. Exhale, slowly lower all the way to the belly. You can use your knees if you'd like. Then point your toes back, hands by low ribs. Rise to cobra, lifting and opening up through the heart space. Exhale, gently release back down. Two more times. Inhale, opening up through the heart. And gently release back down. One more with the breath. Opening up and gently release. Hug your core and tuck your toes. We're pressing up to plank. Feel free to use your knees if you'd like. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. In this first downward dog, feel free to pedal your feet out or lift and lower the heels. Any little movements that you like. Keep your head and neck just loose between the arms. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back to your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. Come all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, hinge up the hips, fold forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold. Now keep your left foot in front. Take a big step back with the ball of your right foot. Come up high to your fingertips, or again, you can use your blocks for that extra space. Inhale, open through the chest. And then exhale, just round up through the spine. Draw your chin to the chest, pull your belly in two more times. Hips will drop a little bit, open up across the chest. And round up through the spine, chin to chest. One more, opening up, gazing forward or slightly up. And round up through the spine. Then come back to a neutral spine, plant your palms down onto the earth. Feel your core nice and strong, so just the left leg is moving as you step it back to plank. Everything else is already there. Inhale, shoulder shift forward. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down with control. Toes point back, rise to cobra or upward dog. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Couple breaths in downward dog. Find that firm base, pressing into the palms, reaching up and back through the hips. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back to your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. And all the way to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to heart space. That's three at A. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold. Step it back to plank. Lower slow. Chaturanga with control. Toes point back. Inhale, rise to your back bend. And exhale, lift the hips up and back to your downward dog. And steady breaths here. You feel the strength and fluidity in your movements. Walk, step, or float it up to the top. Forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold it back down. Rise all the way to stand, sweeping your arms all the way up and overhead. Touch palms. Exhale, hands to heart. A couple more rounds. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale and fold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank or float it back, chaturanga with control. Rise to your back bend, inhale to lift. Nice, exhale, lift your hips all the way up and back. Downward dog. Walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back to your forward fold, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down and rise all the way up to standing, sweeping arms up, touching palms overhead to the top. Exhale, hands to heart space. Go ahead and do one more round on your own. We're going to knee in downward dog. We'll cut this last round a little bit short. Move with your breath. And when you get to your downward dog, take a full breath in through the nose. Inside out, through the mouth. And from here, gently lower your knees down and adjust yourself to a tabletop position. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And start to reach your left, your right leg back, flex through the foot. So again, finding that shape of your foot flex, reaching energetically back through the heel. Feel like you're trying to step your heel onto the wall behind you. Hug your lower belly, your lower ribs in. And then see if you can float your left palm forward with your thumb pointing up, pinky side down. And keep your gaze down so the back of the neck stays long. And just find steady breaths here. Take an inhale, breath. And then as you exhale, option to curl in elbow to knee, rounding up through the spine. Inhale back to your extension. Two more. Elbow to knee, rounding up through the spine. Inhale to extend. One more time. Elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Good. Keep your left arm reaching forward and drop your right knee back down underneath your right hip. From here, take your left arm out towards the left with your palm facing down. Keep pressing into your right palm and do the work to keep your shoulders really level. So sometimes we'll compensate by lifting your left shoulder, left arm even higher, but keep your shoulders level. Keep extending forward through the heart. Steady breaths here. Good, on your next inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky, turning your chest open towards the left, and then bend your elbow, take your left fingertips behind your head. Take one more inhale, lift the elbow higher, and then exhale, crunch in, elbow to elbow, touch your left elbow to the inner edge of your right elbow. Inhale, elbow, chest turns back open. Two more times, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open it up. One more time, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open it up and just reach your left fingertips all the way up and then set your left palm down. And take a few rounds of cat and cow to feel a stretch in the upper back, behind the shoulders, and let that go. And come back to neutral, find that firm base again, and start to extend your left leg back. Flex through the foot, all your toes are pointing down. And with the support of both palms pressing into the earth, can you engage your core, hug the lower belly in? and find extension through the spine. And then reach your right arm forward in opposition. Thumb pointing up, pinky side down. Feel that nice long reach. Steady breaths, feel the balance. Create stability in the body. Take one more inhale. Then exhale, elbow to knee, round up through the spine. Inhale back to your extension. Two more times, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. One more time, elbow to knee, crunching in. Inhale to your extension, and then just lower your left knee down. Reach your right arm out towards the right. Turn your palm to face down. And really press into your left palm. Extend through the spine. Again, working to keep your shoulders really stable and level here. And steady breaths. Lots of work, even though it looks really simple. 
And on your next inhale, reach your right fingertips up towards the sky. Turn your chest open to the right. Bend your right elbow, fingertips behind the head. One more inhale, breath. And then exhale, right elbow taps the inner edge of your left elbow. Inhale, open it up. Two more times, elbow to elbow, crunching in. Inhale, open it up. And one more time, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open it up, reach your right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Bring your hand down to your mat. Let's do a few rounds of cat and cow again. Stretch it out, let that go. And come back to neutral. Walk both of your hands just a little bit forward of the shoulders, tuck your toes. Lift your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. And we're gonna wave forward and back through the spine. So from here, from your downward dog, lift the heels up. We're gonna roll forward through the spine Rounding through the upper back, keep your toes tucked under, let the hips dip as you open through the chest, keep pressing into the palms, so it's this version of upward dog with the toes tucked under. Keep your legs pressing really straight, pause for one more inhale breath, and then exhale, pull the belly in round through the upper back as you shift the hips all the way back into your downward dog. And do that three more times on your own pace, you can go faster or slower, and feel yourself waving, waving that movement through the spine. Lots of work into the shoulders. And we'll meet back in downward dog. Take your time getting there. And walk, step or float the feet up to your hands, coming up to your forward fold. Rise up, halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold it back down. And rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up. Touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhale, bring your hands down to the heart space. And chair pose, bend your knees. Sweep your arms up, sit down low. And as you exhale, sweep your hands, lace up your fingers behind the back. Open up through the chest. And steady breaths. Keep your chest upright, see if you can sit down lower. Hug your lower belly, lower ribs in. Take one more inhale breath. And then as you exhale, hinge up the hips, fold forward, knuckles can come up and overhead. This is too much on your shoulders, you could always drop the hands down. And if you still have the interlace, you can tick-tock your knuckles side to side, just opening up into the shoulders a little bit more. Then release your hands down to the earth, rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back or float it back, vinyasa, or straight back to your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up and back. Right knee to your right shoulder, tricep. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, extend it back. Cross your knee over to the outside of your left arm, shifting forward. Inhale, extend it back. And step your foot all the way through between your palms. Lower your left knee down, point your left toes back. Inhale, reach up through the arms, through the chest, through the fingertips, low crescent. Exhale, open through the elbows, widen across the chest, and then keep reaching your hands back and lace up the fingers. So really strengthen through the lower belly, pull up through the heart, and just open up into the chest here. And steady breaths. And release the lacing of the fingers. Inhale, sweep the arms back up towards the sky. Option to touch your palms as you gaze up. Okay, tuck your back toes under. We're gonna shift into a standing split, bringing the fingertips down, and floating your left leg up towards the sky, melting in. If you want to play with balance here, feel free. Take a moment. Have your fingertips find the earth again. Feet together at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Back to your chair pose. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms up. Sit down low. And press all the way up to standing. Touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And bend your knees. Sweep your arms up. Sit down low. Exhale, lace up the fingers behind your back. Take another inhale breath, open up through the chest. Exhale, fold it forward, knuckles come up and overhead. Pause here for a couple of breaths. So you can again gently take your knuckles side to side, stretching into the shoulders. And bring your fingertips back down, rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back or float it back, vinyasa, or straight back into your downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Reach back through the heels. Left knee to the left shoulder, tricep. Shift it forward. Inhale, extend it back. Then cross your knee over to the outside of the right arm, shifting it forward. 
Inhale, extend it back. Knee to chest, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Lower your right knee down, point your right toes back. Lift up through the arms, through the chest. Reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, open through the elbows, widen across your chest. Then take that interlace of the fingers behind you. Try the other pinky on top. Draw the knuckles down and away from you. Lower belly pulling in. And feel that energetic lift through the heart space. And steady breath. And release the lacing of the fingers, reach the arms back up towards the sky. You can touch your palms, gaze up. And then shifting into a standing splits, tuck your back toes under, fingertips down. Right leg floats up towards the sky as you melt in. Feel free to play with balance. And feet together at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, hold it back down, straight back to your chair pose. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms up, sit down low. Press into your feet, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And straight back to chair. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. Exhale, hands lace up behind you. Inhale, open up through the chest. And exhale, hinge up the hips and fold forward. Okay, just take one more inhale here. Exhale, fingertips down, rise up halfway with an inhale breath. Exhale, step it back or float it back. Chaturanga, lower slow. Inhale, pressing up to your back bend. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Good. Nice and fluid. Inhale, your right leg up and back. Right knee to your right shoulder or tricep. Shift forward. Inhale, extend it back. Cross it over to the outside of your left arm. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, step your foot through between your palms, lower your left knee down, point your left toes back. Inhale, lift up through the arms, through the fingertips. Exhale, open through the elbows, lease up your fingers behind you. Take another inhale breath here. And an exhale. And reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, standing splits, shift forward, pressing off the ball of your back foot, floating in. And maybe you challenge yourself to play with balance this time if you didn't already try that. Good, feet together at the top, forward fold, Uttanasana, rise up halfway. Exhale, deep fold, back down. Again, bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low, chair pose. Press into your feet, all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. Exhale, lace up your fingers behind you. Inhale, we'll open up across the collarbones. Exhale, hinge up the hips, knuckles come up and overhead. Take another inhale. Exhale, fingertips down towards the earth. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold and step it back or float it back, vinyasa or downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Left knee to the left shoulder, tricep. Inhale, extend it back. Cross it over to the outside of the right arm. Inhale, extend it back. Step your foot all the way through between your palms, lower your right knee, point your right toes back. Low lunge, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open through the elbows, lace up your fingers. Take another inhale breath and an exhale breath. Reach your arms back up towards the sky. Maybe you touch your palms. Exhale, pressing into a standing split. Float your right leg up, find your balance. And bring your feet together at the top of our space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, deep fold back down, back to your chair pose. Bend your knees, sweeping your arms up, sitting down low. And press into your feet, rising all the way up to standing. Touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And back to your chair pose. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. And exhale, lace up your fingers behind the back. Take another inhale. Exhale, hinge up the hips and fold forward. One more inhale here. Exhale, fingertips down. Rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or float it back, Vinyasa, or downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Right knee to your right shoulder, tricep. Inhale, extend it back. Cross it over to the outside of your left. Inhale, extend it back. Step it through between your palms, lower your left knee down, point your toes back. Lift up through the arms, through the chest, through the fingertips. 
Exhale, open through the elbows, lace up your fingers behind you. And pause here. Let's see if you can deepen the bend in the front knee a little bit more. Feel that stretch. Good. You're going to keep your hands interlaced behind you. If you want more into a back bend shape, take your chest upright, hug your core in. And then from here, tuck your back toes under. You can move your right foot just an inch or two towards the right so you create stability in your legs. We're going to lift the back knee up and hover your chest forward. Steady breaths here. Feel the lower belly pulling in. Good. Release the lacing of the fingers and just reach your arms back. Full breaths. Good. Reach your arms forward alongside the ears. Turn your palms to face towards each other or turn up towards the sky. Stack your right knee directly over the right heel. Feel the shoulders release away from the ears down the back. And from here, open your arms out to a T with your palms facing down. Find that wide stretch across the chest, across the shoulders. Now take one more inhale, open up through the arms, and then exhale and twist, left hand down, right arm up towards the sky. Good. From here, you can reach your right fingertips, keep them up towards the sky, or you can reach the arm forward alongside the ear. If you want to take a half bind, wrap your right arm behind your back. That might feel good in your shoulder. Just pause into this twist. And again, deepen the bend in the front knee. Press your back leg straight. And steady breaths, really full deep breaths in your twists. Head wherever you are. Unwind your right arm if it's wrapped behind you. Take your right arm forward alongside the ear. Plant it down to the mat. Step it back to plank with control. Vinyasa or downward dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale your left leg up and back. Left knee to the left shoulder, tricep. Inhale, extend it back. And cross your knee over to the outside of your right arm. Inhale, extend it back. Step your foot all the way through between your palms. Lower your right knee down, point your right toes back. Lift up through the arms, through the fingertips. Exhale, open through the elbows. Lace up your fingers behind you. Take another inhale breath and an exhale breath. I'm going to pause here again, opening up into the front of the right hip flexor. Hug your core in, maybe deep in the bed and front knee. Good. Bring your chest upright. Keep the hands interlaced behind you. You can take your left foot just an inch out towards the left. You want to create stability for your legs as you tuck your back toes under. Hover your chest forward, hug your core in, and press your back leg straight. Steady breaths here. And release the lacing of the fingers. Sweep your arms back alongside the body. Lots of strength in this pose. Sweep your arms forward alongside the ears. And find that reach from your back heel all the way through the fingertips. And float your arms out to the sides, out to a T. Turn your palms to face down. And feel the strength open up across the chest. Take one more inhale. Exhale, twist, right hand down. Left fingertips sweep up towards the sky. And then see what feels good from here. You can stay here. You can sweep your left arm forward. Some of you might like to bind your left arm behind the back. Keep pressing into your right palm and keep your collarbone spreading. Keep the shoulder blades drawing down the back wherever you are. And everyone inhale to take your left arm, stretch it forward alongside the ear. Exhale, hands to your mat, step it back to plank position. Vinyasa or downward dog. Moving through with the breath. Take a full breath in. And through the mouth, let it all go. And walk, step or float up to the hands, forward fold, Uttanasana. Rise up halfway, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold it back down. And rise all the way up to standing. Sweep your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, bring your hands down to the heart space. Take a full breath in and out. Okay. Take a moment and let your eyes relax, close, and just feel this grounding into the feet. Feel the chest open, shoulders releasing away from the ears. And cultivate that presence in this stance. Steady full breaths in and out. Good. 
If it's comfortable, keep your eyes closed and relax your arms down alongside the body. I'm just gonna flow through Sun A, familiar sequence. See if you can keep your eyes closed. Inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Rise up, halfway inhale. Exhale, step, or maybe even float back with your eyes closed, vinyasa, or back to your downward dog, your version. And once we get to our downward dog, feel free to open up your eyes if you'd like. Take a big full breath in through the nose. Side it out through the mouth, let it go. Feel free to stay here or take a break into child's pose. Lower your knees down. Shift your hips back towards your heels. Set your forehead down, set your forearms down. Your arms can gently reach forward or you can stretch them back to the outsides of your legs. Take a moment to slow your body down. Reconnect with the breath. And just feel the heat, feel the strength that you're building in your body. Take a full breath in and through the mouth, let it go. From here, we're gonna rise up to our knees and have your knees and your feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna come into camel pose so take your hands to the lower back. Fingers can point down, or for some of you, it might feel nice to point the fingertips up. Whichever position you choose with your hands right on the lower back, the fingers will be right at the top of the glutes to create that support for the lower back. Open through the chest, squeeze your elbows back, shoulders down the back, and then start with just this upright spine, core hugging in, and feel like there's a string pulling up through the sternum and that might invite your head to drop back just a little bit. Feel your quads engaged, that big muscle to the tops of the thighs. Keep your core hugging in. This doesn't have to be super deep, but feel that lift up through the heart space. Feel your shoulders open up. Good, you can stay right here with support. You can come up right if you need. If you want, see if you can keep the shape. Just release the hands from your lower back, lace up the fingers, draw the knuckles away from you a little bit. If it feels unsafe in your lower back to do that, just place the hands back onto your lower back. Good. Energy up through the heart space to pull you upright. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. And just do a few rounds of cat and cow by not stretch. And tuck your toes up your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. And inhale your right leg up and back. And step it all the way through between your palms. Spin your back heel down. Good. Take your right hand to your right hip. So make sure your feet are about hip distance apart or heel to heel. Take your right hand to your right hip and pull this right hip back a bit so your hips are squaring forward. Lift your chest a bit off your front thighs. You sweep your left arm forward alongside the ear. And take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, reach your right arm forward as well. And inhale, rising up, warrior one. Hips and chest point forward. And take one more inhale. Exhale, lace up your fingers behind your back. One more inhale, breath here. And then exhale, humble warrior. Chest folds forward. Knuckles can come up and overhead. Relax your head and neck down. Keep a deep bend into your front knee and hug your right hip in towards the center line of the body. And rise up to warrior one to release the lacing of the fingers. Sweep your arms back up towards the sky. And then hover your chest down halfway. Sweep your arms back alongside the body. And reach your arms out to a T. Open up through the chest. And see if you can keep your back heel down. As we come back into that twist, bring your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. And if you need to lift the back heel and make it more of a crescent version, it can be really deep on that back leg. Feel free to lift the back heel up. And again, your choice, you can sweep this right arm forward. You can keep reaching it up. You can wrap it behind your back. Open through the chest. 
And wherever you are, reach your right arm forward alongside the ear. Take it down to your mat. Step it back to plank position. Vinyasa or downward dog. And gently lower your knees down. Walk your hands back. We're going to come back up onto our knees, back to that camel pose. So knees and feet are about hip distance apart, hands to the lower back. Hugging your core, engage your quads. Find that lift through the sternum to gently guide you to an upper back bend. So keep your core contained. Engage your quads. Feel the support. Completely optional. If you want to take your hands, lace up your fingers. Draw the knuckles away from you. Especially if you're doing that, really engage the core. Hands back to the lower back. We're coming back upright. Go ahead, inhale, circle your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, land back into your tabletop position. Do a few rounds of cat and cow, opening up. Then tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Step it all the way through between your palms. Spin your right heel down. Feet are heel to heel or a bit wider. Take your left hand to your left hip and pull that hip back so the hips are squared. Engage your core. And then lift your chest just above your front thigh. Sweep your right arm forward alongside the ear. So you're creating this diagonal line from your back heel all the way through the right fingertips. Reach your left arm forward alongside the ear. And then on your next inhale, reach all the way up, warrior one. Take a pause here, ground into the feet. One more inhale breath, maybe touch your palms, gaze up. Exhale, lace up the fingers behind you. Take one more inhale breath, opening through the chest. Exhale into your humble warrior, folding down. Release the lacing of the fingers. We're rising back up to warrior one, lifting up. And then float your chest down again at that diagonal. Open up your arms out to a T with your palms facing down. Feel the stretch across the chest. Add one more inhale. And then into your twist as you exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches up. Maybe you can keep grounding your right heel down. Maybe you have to lift it up. Your version of the twist, arm can sweep forward. You can wrap it behind your back. Take your left arm, stretch it all the way forward alongside the ear. Bring it down to your mat. Step it back to plank position and vinyasa or downward dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, step it through between your palms. Spin your back heel down. Right hand to your right hip and inhale, sweep your left arm forward. Exhale, reach your right arm forward. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. And then exhale into your twist, left hand down, right arm up. Pause in your twist, take a version of your right arm that feels good. Reach your right arm all the way forward. Flat your palms down, step it back to plank. Vinyasa or downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Step it through between your palms. Spin your right heel down. Left hand to the left hip. Inhale, sweep your right arm forward as you lift the chest. Exhale, left arm reaches forward with it. Inhale all the way up, warrior one. Exhale into your twist. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Adjust your left arm if you'd like. Lift your right heel if you'd like. Sweep your left arm forward, take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back to plank. Vinyasa or downward dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, let it go. And inhale, shift forward to plank position, shoulders forward, a little bit beyond the wrist. Slowly lower all the way to the belly with control. Keep your elbows hugging in nice and close. And toes point back and turn onto one cheek. Reach your arms back alongside you or open up the arms out to a tear like a goal post. Just take a few moments resting down. 
Feel free to let your eyes relax closed. Take a full breath in and through the mouth, let it go. And come back through center. I'm gonna start to press the tops of the feet down and your legs will engage, your kneecaps will start to lift off of your mat. Keep that, keep all of your 10 toes pressing down. And on your next inhale, float your chest and float your arms up. Keep pressing the tops of the feet down. So you're grounded into the tops of the feet, opening up, lengthening forward through the heart space, core is hugging in. Steady breaths. And then on your next inhale, maybe float your legs up off the earth. Opening up. And just one more inhale breath. Exhale, lower everything back down. You can turn onto the opposite cheek, let your body relax. And come back through center, chin or forehead onto the ground. And this time, if you want to try something different, get back into that bind, lace up your fingers behind you. And we'll take a full breath before we lift up. So take an inhale, breathe it out. Now on your inhale, lift your chest, arms, legs, everything floats up. Core is strong. Gaze is slightly down so the back of your neck stays nice and long. And full breaths here. And take one more inhale breath. Exhale, release all the way back down, rest onto the opposite cheek. And bring your chin or forehead back through center. You can do either of those versions that we did of back bend. If you want to go for bending your knees, reaching back for the Tops of the feet or the ankles. And wherever you are, take a full breath in and out. And then inhale to lift up. If you have the feet in your hands, take the feet up towards the sky to open up through the shoulders and just contain your knees about hip distance apart. So try to keep them from splitting out to the sides. Steady breaths. And take one more inhale. Exhale, release everything down. Bring your hands by your chest. Press up your hands and knees, and we're just gonna shift all the way back to a child's pose. Take your knees out wide, or you can keep them together. That might feel good on your lower back too. Press your forehead down, rest your forearms down, or stretch the arms back. Your choice of what's restful for the shoulders and for the body. And take a full breath in and through the mouth, let it go. And stretch your arms forward, rise up to your hands and knees, tuck your toes with your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Last little bit of flow before you start to cool down. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. And exhale, step it all the way through between your palms. Keep your feet about hip distance, keep your back heel lifted. We're rising into high crescents. Keep your arms forward and up, hips and chest point forward. And then from here, open through the elbows wide and across the chest. Then reach your arms back up towards the sky and do that again. Open through the elbows wide and across the chest. Reach your arms back up towards the sky. One more time, this time as you do that, gently tap your back knee down to the mat. Right, keep your left knee down, reach your arms back up towards the sky, and then we're going to twist open. Take your left hand to the ground and reach your right arm up. And so make this twist your own version. You can stay here. You can wrap your right arm behind your back. You can stretch it forward alongside the ear. Some of you might bend your left knee and reach back for the top of the foot. A little extra stretch into the quad. 
Good. If you have the foot in the hand, gently let it go. Bring your hands down to your mat to bring your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and then take your right leg all the way up and back to your three-legged downward dog. Deck your hip open and bend your knee. You can stay here, or you can start to shift your shoulders forward, keeping your legs in this shape. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot, flipping your dog into that back bend. Lift the heart, hips, lift the heart, and reach your right arm forward alongside the ear. And everyone come back to your three-legged downward dog. Take the right leg up towards the sky, and then set your right foot down to your mat, vinyasa or downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. And step it through between your palms. Coming up to high crescent, sweep up through the arms, through the chest, lifting up through the fingertips. Exhale, open through the elbows, open up through the heart space. Inhale, reach your arms back up. And again, open through the elbows, open up through the heart. And reach your arms back up. One more time, this time slowly tapping your right knee down to the ground. And keep your right knee down to the ground. Reach your arms back up towards the sky. And then into your twist, right hand down. Keep reaching your left arm up. And again, stay here. Reach your left arm forward or wrap it behind you. Or you can bend your right knee. Reach back for the top of the foot. If you have the foot in the hand, let it go. Everyone bring your palms down to bring the front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your right knee up. Take your left leg all the way up and back. Stack your hip open, bend your knee. Stay here, or flip your dog, shift your shoulders forward, roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Lower the left ball of the foot down, reach your left arm up. You can sweep it forward alongside the ear. Then make your way back to three-legged downward dog, left leg lifts up towards the sky. Set it down onto your mat, shift forward to plank position, vinyasa or downward dog. Take a full breath in, and through the mouth, let it go. And come into pigeon pose. If you'd rather do thread the needle on the back, go ahead and take that option. Otherwise, inhale your right leg up and back. Shift your shin forward onto your mat. Angle your right knee out towards the right. Keep your right foot flexed. Point your left toes back. And take a moment to square off your hips. You can set up a prop underneath your right hip if you need. Lift through the heart space before you start to fold in. And steady your breath. Relax your face, your shoulders, your hands. Feel free to close your eyes and take yourself inward in this shape. Come back to the inner landscape. And see if you feel different in the mind, in the body, than when we first started. Maybe a little bit more awake, a little bit more limber, and hopefully more joyful as we focus on staying in the moment, connected to the breath. And let every round of breath create more space in the shape. Last couple of breaths. And press into your palms, lift your chest back upright. If you're on your back doing the needle, just switch sides. You took pigeon pose, tuck your back toes under, take your right leg all the way up and back. You can feel free to stack your hip open and bend your knee here. Make your way back to your downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. And then exhale, bring your shin forward onto your mat. Walk it back through your right leg. Keep your hips level, open up through the chest before you start to fold in. And connected to your breath, where can you feel more ease into this shape? If there are places where your body is resisting, try to visualize your breath going into those areas, allowing them to soften and relax.
last couple of breaths. And so if you're on your back, just plant your feet down. We're all gonna meet up on our backs with our knees bent up eventually. If you're in your pigeon pose, press into your palms, open through the chest, tuck your back toes under, extend your left leg all the way up and back. You can set your hip open and bend your knee if you do that on the other side. Come back to your downward dog. You can walk, step, or float through to seated. Sit your hips down and then just roll onto your back. Nice and controlled. And take a moment here. Just grounding down. Take a full breath in. Pause at the top. And side out through the mouth. Let it go. Open up your arms out to the sides. You can bend your elbows for that goal pose shape if you'd like. And go ahead and take your favorite spinal twist. Take your knees, point them over towards the left side first. You can bump your hips to the right as you take a two knee twist, or you could cross one leg over the other. Try to keep your chest open, and you can gaze over your right shoulder. Welcome to close the eyes. Bring your head and your knees back up through center. You're gonna twist in the opposite way. Bring your head and your knees back up through center. Realign your hips with your spine. Come into the happy baby pose. Knees to the outsides of the torso. Hold your hands around the edges of the feet. You can gently rock side to side if you'd like. And feel, to, feel free to extend your legs out one at a time or both at the same time. Get that inner groin stretch. And hug your knees back in towards your chest. Feel gratitude for your body and start to relax your arms down, relax your feet down and set up for your most comfortable resting pose for Shavasana. You can extend your legs out straight, you can bend your knees up, you can come into Supta Baddha Konasana, feet touching, knees open. And just as we start to settle into the shape, bring your hands back onto the body, one hand onto the heart, one hand onto the belly. Let your eyes relax closed and feel the breath return back to its natural pace. Feel the way that the breath moves the body. Feel your face soften, feel your body starting to sink into the earth. Take one more full breath here in through the nose. Side out through the mouth, let it go. And keep your palms rested onto the body or let them fall open out away from the body. Most comfortable rest, taking shape. And soften through the face, feel your eyes relax back, feel your jaw relax. Shoulders heavy, belly soft, hips heavy. And relax all the way down through the arms into the fingers. All the way down through the legs into the toes. Take in all the benefits of your strong practice today.
gently knee deep in your breath. Take a fuller breath in and a fuller breath out. And start to bring some gentle movements into your fingers and toes. Bring conscious awareness back into your body. And still keeping your eyes relaxed, close on your next inhale. Reach your arms all the way back behind you. Find a nice long stretch from end to end. And you can gently start to bend your knees up, plant your feet down, roll over onto your favorite side for a fetal position. Press your head into the upper arm and curl the knees in towards the chest, any amount that's comfortable. And grounded and rested here, take another full breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. And as best as you can, see if you can keep your eyes still relaxed, closed, press yourself up to your meditation seat. Sitting up tall, resting your hands gently to the tops of the thighs, or gently folding one palm on top of the other. And grounding into the earth, feel your tall spine. And allow yourself to take a few more moments here, stillness and silence. Allow yourself to integrate the practice that we've done today. Remembering the link between breath and movement. On your next inhale, circle your arms out and around. Touch your palms overhead at the top of your breath. And keep your palms pressed as you exhale. Draw the hands together in front of the heart space. Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to reconnect to your intention and fully believe in the power of our thoughts to help create the things that we desire. And to close, I'll invite you to chant with me the sound of Om. Together, taking an inhale. Om. feeling that healing vibration. Imagine that vibration being sent to anywhere in the body that needs it, creating something complete and whole. Just remembering the sound of Om is said to encompass all of the sounds of the universe, reminding us that we're all connected, we're all one. I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.